Okay, I wanted to show you guys uh, the partial quotient or chunking method of division. I know some of you have already started division, that's okay, but usually this would come before you start the standard way to divide. And I'm doing it with two digit numbers because a lot of you might be to that place already in fifth grade, and I know in fourth grade you're gonna get there, um, but you can use one digit numbers um, also. What this method is, is a way to use what the students already know about um, multiplying, times multiples of 10, um, times 10 itself, and using their number sense like half of 10 and things like that to, to get the answer. It's a pretty easy way for them to divide without going through a lot of step-by-step -step process. Okay, so how it starts off is pretty much like normal. 476 inside the box here, and we're dividing by 12, that goes on the outside. The added step you do is you bring this down. Don't judge the straightness of my line, okay? Now, what we want to ask the kids is, um, you know, how many times is 12 going to 476? And we want to use what they know and use the biggest multiple of 12. You know, so if the kids know their times 12 tables, they might say 12, 12 times and do 144. But most often we want to link to that multiple of 10. And so 12 times 10, we'll use 10s because that's easy, is 120. So I put out here what, and it, this keeps track of what I have multiplied by 12 and how many times I've gone in there. And so then I subtract it out, just like normal. I have 356 left. Now students might keep going by 10, and that's okay, they can do that. There's not a problem with that at all, because that's pretty easy, and that's what we want to get across. That division's not difficult if you do it in a way that you already know, like multiplying times multiples of 10. But a student that knows a little more might say, well, 10 is 120, I know double that is 20. And 20 times 12 is 240. Subtract it out and get your 116 left over. Now, the student, the thinking process, of course, is um, they already did tens. Tens are nice, and that's 120. 116 is less than 120, so they can't do that nice 10. They could do 9 here, and that would be okay. Uh, but then they'd have to figure out, okay, what is 9 times 12? But an easier way might be to say, well, 10 times 12 is 120. Half of 10 is 5. Half of 120 is 60, using their, their number sense. So I put a five here, five times 12 is 60, and I know that without multiplying five times 12, I know that just using this and getting half of that number, I subtract it out, and I have 56 left over. Now, by this point, students should be able to say that 12 times four is the closest thing I'm gonna get to, to be 56, and that's 48. And I have eight left over. It's kind of a crooked eight, but that's okay. And so they end up, they do the same thing here, they put their remainder, of eight, you know, after the ones place, that's that's where the remainder will go. And then out here is where they're just adding in all the things they divided into 476. So 20, 30, 39. And so hopefully they can do that mentally by now, but so you put, and then make, you make sure that they put their answer in the right place value column. So the 39 lines up with the tens place and the ones place. That's all it is. It's pretty simple. It's a way to, again, link what they already know to division.